Girl, I know you gon' be tight, you lost a boy like me Never break bridges, girl, that ain't like me You gon' want me back Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here with another video. This is gonna be a back to school makeup quick drugstore tutorial. Plus, I'm gonna give you guys some great advice about school, some tips you need to know. So wait till the end of the video because you need to know these tips, trust me. So if you wanna see how I got this cute little studious look, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started with the fast and easy drugstore, half drugstore-ish, um, back to school makeup little tutorial, whatever you want to call it. When I would go to school, I would use an SPF moisturizer and eye cream just because when you're walking from class to class, you're in the sun. When you eat lunch, you might eat outside. You're going to be in the sun. So you just want to protect your face using SPF, especially at a young age like us, is so, so important. So the two products that I use for SPF... Sorry, Stormy. I just freaked Stormy out. I'll show you guys Stormy at the end of the video. Um, so the first product that I use is this Origins A Perfect World SPF 40. So that is a lot of SPF. So I'm going to put some of this on. You just need a little, honestly. A little goes a long way. So honestly, I know these. this product is expensive, but I feel like for skincare, it really is important to invest in your skin like if you want to have good skin then you need to use products that are really really good i'm sure there are good spf products like that you could find at a drugstore and that's totally fine those are totally totally fine but these are just the products that i prefer to use yeah and then for eye cream i use the mirad mirad i don't know how to say it still um it's the essential c eye cream with spf 15 this one is honestly pretty thick for an eye cream, but it's really good and it brightens your under eye as well. So it looks like this and I'm just going to tap this in and I put it on my lids as well. If you guys hear like little footsteps or anything that's stormy. Okay, so now that I moisturized and um, yeah, moisturized, I'm going to use a coconut water primer. Just because that is so like SPF-y and like thick and just, I don't know, just very thick. I want to use something that's a little more hydrating and refreshing as my primer. I don't want to put another primer on top of those thick products. So we're just going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer Water that smells amazing. Yeah, oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, so this is drugstore, obviously, Wet n Wild. So get this for primer. So I'm just going to prime my face. You guys. Yeah, I'm like so clumsy right now. So we are going to let her dry. Sorry, Stormy. I keep scaring Stormy. You want to make an appearance already? Come here. Can make your appearance. <gasps> Say hi, everybody. Look how much bigger she is from when I got her in my puppy vlog. She is so much bigger, but she's still really tiny. Remember, she was like so tiny when I did this, honey. Do you remember being in my first YouTube video? Love you too. Okay. So that dries really quickly. And why I also like using a primer water after that is it kind of is just like setting that SPF into my skin. Okay. So that honestly feels set already good. Timing. Gotta go. We're already late to class, honestly. So the next thing that I'm going to do, actually, I already did the step I cheated, but I'll just show you what I did. I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz. Personally, I can't find a drugstore product for my eyebrows that works as good as this. So honestly, I use this. But if you have a drugstore one that you use that's totally fine, use that. I just personally can't find one that I love. So what I do to make my eyebrows super fast, disclaimer, I do have microbladed brows and I shaded my tails, so my brows are pretty much good to go when I wake up in the morning. But if I want to just have them a little more full and shaped, then all I did was I took my brow wiz, one line at the bottom, filled in the arch, and then did some lines here. And then you just brush it out, and you are good to go. So the next thing that I'm going to tell you guys, some back to school makeup foundation tips. 
at school you do not want to look super glammed out like the girls that look like I mean go off honestly if you want to look super glammed out but I personally like to look a little more natural at school and just like yeah I'm cute and yeah I'm here but yeah I'm learning too I'm just like cute and natural like yeah that's my personal preference for makeup for school but honestly if you want to go off with the eyeshadows do it do you this is the Laura Mercier this one is pricey but this is my favorite tinted moisturizer stormy stop it or I have another trick where you can use this L'Oreal I'm gonna use this today actually this L'Oreal Pro Matte Maybelline foundation and I'll show you what you do and yeah that's the only actually thing that I do so if I take my L'Oreal this so actually this will make you matte all day long and make your concealer stay and give you just a little extra coverage so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of this on my hand just a little just a tiny I'm more on the oily side and especially since I used SPF products that are a little make your face a little more oily I use matte products for everything else so I'm gonna take my finger I'm literally just gonna take my finger we're fast we're on the go and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes and in my t-zone area so what this does is it literally is like so you can just see that little difference you can literally just use your fingers and I put some on my forehead because I get really oily right here I'm like Pretending that this foundation is pretty much like a moisturizer like I'm just like blending it in as I would a moisturizer and then Right here because I get oily here and then my nose So it's just putting like a little layer of foundation just a tiny bit layer where you get oily So the next thing that I'm gonna do is conceal So I'm going to use another drugstore product for you guys my favorite drugstore concealer. This is the Maybelline fit me concealer I use the shade Sand Sable, number 20, and this was the shade 104. So we are going to just quickly put concealer under our eyes. Honestly, I put a lot of concealer. I just love having a bright under eye. This is actually kind of a lot for school, but it's fine. So we are going to take our beauty blender and I'm gonna use that primer coconut water to wet it. And we're just gonna go really fast because we gotta go. So now that I am concealed, my favorite drugstore loose powder is the Wet n Wild. The, sorry, the label came off, but it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I found this at Walmart, and it said it was a Walmart exclusive product. I don't know if it still is. So I'm going to use my beauty blender, and I'm going to just set. Like I'm almost like just pressing it into the skin where you can't even see the powder anymore. So now that my concealer is set... Next, I'm going to just lightly, lightly bronze and a little bit contour my face, just very lightly though, because I like to do a natural look, like I said, for school. So I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star brush from Morphe. It is the JS2. It's a really good, just light um, bronzer brush. So I'm going to use my favorite drugstore contour palette. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. It is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Dolce de leche, leche, leche. So I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. Usually, like if I'm doing a glam look, I'll use a very like angled brush and make it like very detailed and detailed and detailed and detailed. But since I'm just gonna do like an all natural, just just to give my face some shape, I'm just gonna be very light with this brush. So I'm just gonna go in, and this um, a lot of powder comes off on this, so just make sure you tap it. And I'm just gonna bronze. So I'm just making like circle patterns. And then I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush. This is the Deluxe Concealer brush, but I use it to contour. So I'm gonna take a little and just lightly contour my nose, just very lightly, just on the sides. And then I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna use this as eyeshadow. And it's not really eyeshadow, but it's just to kind of give my eyelid some color and just a little bit of dimension. Easy, like not even trying. It's just a little thing that makes a big difference, honestly, on your face. 
just giving your face some color and it's easy done but i'm just gonna blend this out a little okay so next we're gonna use um this nyx nyx sweet cheeks glow blush we're just gonna use a little bit i just like to have some pink on my face it makes you look happier and just cuter so we're just gonna pop some of this color on just right above where you put the bronzer and i put a little bit on my forehead nose and chin put a lot on so i'm gonna blend that out don't worry okay the next thing that i'm gonna do we only have a few more steps promise almost pop we are gonna use um just gonna highlight our face a little bit so that when we're walking from class to class we have that little bit of a glowy look so my favorite drugstore um highlighters this is my absolute favorite this is the maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold it was so so pretty so we're gonna take our highlighter brush we're gonna spray with our coconut water again and then we are going to get in there but just very light not too crazy right above the blush it's like a perfect amount of glow okay then i'm just gonna take a little on my nose Okay, so that's just a very cute natural glow it's nothing too crazy perfect for school so next thing i'm going to do with that wet and wild contour palette i'm going to use this banana e shade i'm just going to dab this small little brush on it and i'm going to just lightly go underneath my eye it just brightens it up a little bit more and trust me during school season we have bags under our eyes so that's why i really focus on a bright under eye two more steps promise this is just mascara i just put a little bit on my bottom lashes you definitely don't need to do this step i could have skipped this but it does make a difference if you have the time this honestly takes a while so if you don't have the time don't do this step i'm just gonna put a light amount one more step one more step this is the nyx lip pencil i always 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 line my lips no matter where i'm going because i just love the way my lips look when they're overlined so this is the shade natural this is a really good shade for everyday use because it's not too crazy okay so i'm gonna overline Overlined, and then I'm just going to take my chapstick and soften my lips. You never, I would never ever do a matte lip at school because I don't want my lips to be like super dry during the day. I like to keep everything moisturized, hydrated, natural, cute, glowy. So yeah, that's all I do. And then I just keep this in my bag with me all day long and just reapply it as I need. So that is my, my little half a drugstore back to school makeup look. You can see it's a cute little glowy, all natural. Yes, I'm here and I'm learning, but I'm still cute. Look, as for hair, I honestly did not really style my hair at school at all. I would either just brush it and like just wear it like this. This is just like my natural after I brush or I would braid it. Stormy literally follows me everywhere I go. So anyways, I would just take like a little bun and then tie it. And then I like to do this too because... When you take your hair out, you have like really pretty waves. So I would just go like this and like kind of make it loose and just wear like a cute little bun like this. And I have one more step, baby, to this tutorial. Hold on. I love to wear blue light glasses at school because I'm always looking at my laptop, looking at my phone. And hello, who doesn't look cute in glasses? So I love to wear these. These are kind of dirty. I need to wash them. And then you just look like so much more studious and cute and like ready to learn like trust me if you wear these in class people are going to be looking at you and people are going to want you to be their partner too because you look so cute you look smart you look educated you're getting your degree so yeah and by the way yes i did get my degree in march in communications she graduated okay but you do not need a degree to be successful putting that out there i just realized i didn't set my face so you can either use that coconut primer water to um, set your face as well. I'll put a little. But I'm also going to use a little bit of the Wet n Wild Matte Finish because I need this to stay on all day because I'm going somewhere today. Okay, and then when you wear your glasses, your foundation and stuff isn't rubbing. 
When it comes to outfits for school, this is literally what I would wear. I would wear like cute jogger sweats. These are Adidas, just like cute jogger sweats. And then I would just wear like a cute little top or tube top with it. I know like public school, you guys can't wear this or like schools with dress code if you're still in high school. But if you're in college, I just love wearing a cute little sweat and cute top moment. You just look casual, but cute, you're comfortable. I would never wear jeans to school. Like if you guys ever like went to school with me and saw me, you knew like I would wear like just sweatpants and like a cute top because I love being comfortable. Even sometimes when I go out to the club, I'm not even joking, you guys, I wear sweatpants. <laughs> not even joking. It's a moment. I love being like underdressed but overdressed at the same time. Anyways. Oh, gotta catch my breath. Now that our makeup is done, we are going to do a little school tips with Raven moment because, girl, school's hard. And I'm not just talking about academically. Like, school, there's drama, there's this, there's that, there's boys, there's this. We're gonna get it all in today, okay? So my school tips, I wrote them down for you. Back to school tips. First back to school tip that I have for you guys. These are gonna be tips that people probably do not tell you. They do not tell you this. And your school is not gonna tell you this either. Do not buy textbooks. Do not buy textbooks. I'm telling you, it's a waste of money. Especially do not buy your textbooks before school starts waste of money trust me there are so many times that i bought a super expensive textbook and i did not even use it didn't touch it didn't open it teacher didn't even talk about it so be careful do not buy textbooks until this is when you buy it when the teacher says okay tonight's this read chapter this and do this even then honestly ask a classmate if you have a cute boy in your class cute girl be like hey can i take a picture of your um textbook can i take a picture do you mind? Or like, can you send me like your textbook, um, the page? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. Life hack. Also, um, there's a website called Chegg.com where you can rent an online textbook. So it's so cheap. I think it's like, depends on the textbook, but it's usually like 30, 20, $15 and you can rent that textbook online. So it'll just like expire and you won't be able to access it anymore, which you don't even need. But if you absolutely need a textbook, there's nobody in your class that you could steal a page from, just order it and rent it online. Okay, if you can't do that, then buy it. Like if you can't do any of those things, it's not online, it sucks when your textbook isn't online, then just buy it, okay? But also don't, like come on. Anyways, the next tip that I have for you guys is get a planner, stay organized. I personally love having a planner. I have one even though I graduated already. I love knowing what I'm doing each day. I love being organized. I'm a visual person. It helps me to just stay grounded and stay focused and just know what's happening. Like I just need that for myself. What else I use is my calendar app on my MacBook. So I'll have each thing what I'm doing each day online too because then it can sync to your phone and you can have your schedule just everywhere of what's going on every day. Me personally, I was on the dance team, I internshiped, I worked and I went to school. I literally would have sometimes four things to do every single day. I was a mess, disaster, but it just helps me know, okay, it's Tuesday, I have this at eight, I have this at this, I have this at this, I have this at this, okay? So get a planner, stay organized. After the planner, get cute pens, get cute accessories, get a cute school bag. For me, if I look good, if I have cute things, I feel good. Like, it just helps me want to go to school. If I have, like, one crappy pencil in my bag, my bag is, like, broken, I'm, like, lazy, I'm, like, dragging it, like, I don't want to be there. But if I'm, like, cute, got my bag, got my cute little pencils, I'm here, I'm ready, okay? Just little things. It's little things, people. Next tip I have for you is, okay, back to that website, Chegg. Get the monthly subscription for Chegg. Honestly, you can post your homework and people will do it for you and it's not um plagiarism you literally be like okay this is my math i'm not even joking 10 minutes later there's experts on that website that will do your homework for you and you just copy the answers onto your own i'm not saying to cheat in school or anything <clears throat> but sometimes you got to do what you got to do so yeah that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say okay 
Next thing. Next thing for me personally, bring snacks. Like I cannot focus without food. I need a snack in every class. Like it just helps me to stay focused. I'm always thinking about food. Honestly, even if I know that I have food in my bag and I'm not even hungry, I just feel at ease knowing, okay, if I get hungry, I have this in my bag. I hate having nothing to eat at all. I get anxiety. I'm like, can't, I can't focus. All I'm thinking about is the food. Next thing, bring a hydro flask. Bring water because water is life and stay hydrated next thing join something just be a part of something i was a part of the dance team and i was also in like video production it just helps you feel like you're more connected to the school if you don't have time it's fine and it's fun you meet friends easy way to meet people brings you opportunities try to join some kind of club okay now we're going to talk about other things when you're in high school go to every single party go to it like I'm telling you, go to every single house party in high school because those are gonna be the funnest parties ever. And you're going to miss those parties. You're gonna miss those high school parties. I wish so badly I could go back and go to one of my high school parties because it's fun. It's like you might have had to sneak out to get there. You, you just know like not everyone's supposed to be there. And the parties, like the house that you're at, you know like the parents probably don't know that their kid is throwing it. It's just fun. So honestly, this is like bad advice, but go to every single house party in high school. Do it. Like, just go. It's so fun. In college, however, do not be the ratchet at every single party. Do not. Please. It's not a good look. It is not a good look to be that girl at the same thing every Thursday or the same... Oh, there's a football party. There's a baseball party at the baseball house. Let's go, 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 go. No. No, 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 no. This is my advice. Go on the first week of school. Go. Be like, yep, mm -hmm, I go to the school first week. Hi, I'm here. Mm -hmm, recognize. Second week, mm, don't. Focus on school. Third week, mm, don't. Only go when it's either going to be like a break, like it's going to be Thanksgiving break and it's the last week before break. Go like that or like winter break. Go the last week before winter break. Go on those kind of days because that's when it's going to be popping the most. Everyone's like so excited for one to be done with school for a little while. So go on those days and like go if it's like a big, a big kind of event kind of thing. But don't be the ratchet, the girl, the football player, the whatever, boy, anything at every single college party it is not a cute look i'm telling you it is not a cute look you look dirty or to me they look dirty like when i would know like the same person on snapchat oh house party tonight at da 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 da, -da street da 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 i'm like aren't you tired you're not tired yet like i'm tired i'm tired i can't i'm not going to that every single week it's not a good look it's not a good look another advice that i want to tell you ladies okay when i was in middle school my Hawaiian teacher told me the best advice she could have honestly give ever given me and it's be the girl that everybody wants to have sex with not the girl that everybody has already had sex with let that sink in this goes for high school and college and in life do not be the girl that is hooking up with three guys on the football team two guys on the baseball team I'm not slut shaming. I'm not slut shaming. I'm just talking for your personal worth. Do not do that. Do not. Be the girl that everybody wants to have sex with. Don't be the girl that's like, oh yeah, she's been with him. He's been with her. He's been with it. Same with the boys. But yeah, I really don't want this to come off as slut shaming. It's just my personal advice. Don't be the girl that everybody or the boy that everybody has already had. Be the girl that every, be the girl or the boy that everybody wants. Just let that sink in. It is, college is a time to experience, to have fun, but just don't, just have self-worth. That's all I'm going to say, is have respect for yourself. Another thing in high school, don't have a boyfriend. Even in college, don't have a boyfriend. Waste of time. Waste of time. Focus on yourself. Don't have a girlfriend. Focus on yourself. These are your years to experience, to have fun, to let, to be wild, to be crazy. Just don't be held back you're gonna regret it later on and you're it's just not gonna be good you're gonna have those wild years later because you didn't do it now so let these years be your crazy years to let everything out and just to have so much fun don't feed into drama don't feed into people talking about you people only talk about you if they're jealous of you people are only talking because they have nothing better to do so just know if people are talking about you then you're killing it if people aren't talking about you you're still killing it but just don't give into the drama don't do it so i hope you guys liked my little back to school tips plus makeup tutorial i'm going to quickly edit this so i can get it out today so i gotta go 
but I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please give this video a thumbs up and please comment down which product you like the best and also which tip you liked the best that I gave you guys. So comment down below, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat all at rave underscore wood. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Putting on the gloves like you're trying to fight me You don't make the cup and I'm directing Spike Lee Wasted all my time and that shit is pricey Yeah, You wasted all my time Devil in disguise